Good evening, good evening, everybody. How are you tonight? Hello, let's see him. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Cesar. So let's see who is already connected. Let me see. Cesar, hi. Juan David, Roberto, Stephanie, um, Mili, like double tone twister for tonight. All right, so Sandra also, Ingrid. So thank you, good evening, and thank you very much for joining the class on time. I truly appreciate it, right? So we are going to start here by sharing the screen so you can see it now. And there you go on this one. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Juan David says you're working. Okay, no problem, my friend. Thank you very much for confirming. Good evening and welcome to the class. All right, so you have, hope you can participate at least by listening. Okay, let's see. Very good. Just waiting for like more participants to join the class. Who else is here? All right, Sandra who's joining the class right now. Very good. So we have also Nelson. Patricia joining the class now as well. Patricia ready for tonight's Stone Twister. Great, awesome, awesome, I like it. All right, so, well, let me see here. Okay, well, everybody, thank you for being on time. So let's just start right now, taking advantage of the time, of course. All right, and let's see what's the Stone Twister for tonight. Take a look, everybody, pay attention to this one right here, all right? So it's basically the word doctors many times, all right? so. You can actually repeat this for people. It says doctors, doctors, and other, right? I will read it here and it says, if one doctor doctors another doctor, does the doctor who doctors the doctor doctor the doctor the way the doctor is doctoring doctors? Or does he doctor the doctor the way the doctor who doctors doctors? All right, so it's got this one. One more time, it's just one simple word, right? Doctor, the word doctor. All right, so you have to read it many, many times, right? Let me just go ahead and say one more time. I'll try to go slower, okay? So it says, if one doctor doctors another doctor, does the doctor who doctors the doctor doctor, the doctor the way the doctor, he is doctoring doctors? Or does the he doctor the doctor the way the doctors who doctors doctors? That's it, that's it, that's it. Thank you very much, this one, right? And now you have to repeat it faster, of course, right? So it will be something like, if one doctor doctors another doctor, does the doctor who doctors the doctor doctor the doctor the way the doctor is he's doctoring doctors? Or does he doctor the doctor the way the doctor who doctors doctors? Like that. Very good. Very good. Very good. Excellent. You will have right now uh, one more minute to practice. All right. Have some volunteers right here. I can see on the cameras. All right, let's see. Cesar, Patricia, Rene, Norma, Ronald, uh -huh, Nelson. All right, very good. Possible volunteers. I'm just, you know, checking here. Huh? Let's see, let's see. An easy piece of cake, but you have to say it faster. Right? So, yes, 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 yes. I can see nobody practicing. All right, awesome, very good, very good. Thank you, thank you. <gasps> Milagro, when you switch the camera to the picture, you look totally different. Nice look. There you go. The microphone. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank right. you so much. That was like, <laughs> that's a new student, I said, oh my God, all right. <laughs> all right uh, let me see let me see myself <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right. oh ronald i'm so sorry to hear about your situation right i hope everything it's okay all right no problem you can still hear as a listener for tonight's class Let's one dog one doctor, doctor, the doctor, doctor, the doctor, doctor, the doctor, doctor, the doctor, the way the doctor. Okay, excellent. 
Oh, time's up, everybody. Time's up, time's up, time's up. So we are going to participate right now. Who's going to be my first volunteer? Uh -huh. ah, come on, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. All right. So Norma, awesome, Norma. Go ahead. It's when the doctor, doctor, another doctor, that's the doctor, the doctor, the doctor, the doctor, the doctor, the way the doctor, his doctor, in doctor, or that's the doctor, the doctor, the way the doctor. Oh my goodness. That was actually fast, all right? So super good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, all right? Who's going to be my next one? My next uh, volunteer? Mm -hmm. Uh, Roberto, hello, 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 hello. Tell me. Uh, hello. Uh, if one doctor doctors another doctor, does the doctor who doctors the doctor doctor the doctor the way the doctor he is doctor in doctors or does he doctor the doctor the way the doctor who doctor doctors? Awesome. Very good. Thank you very much for sharing also that one. All right. So let's see. Right now it's Renee's turn. All right, Renee, go ahead. Uh, doctor, doctors, another is one doctor, doctor, another doctor. That's the doctor who doctor, the doctor, doctor, the doctor, the way the doctor, he is doctor in doctors. Or does he doctor, the doctor, the way the doctor who doctors, doctors? Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you very much, Renee. Good try. And I want, and I okay, like it. So, next one, who's next one? Huh? Let's see, let's see, let's see, Patricia, all right? Good to see you on time for the tongue twisters, all right? So, let's see. If one doctor doctors another doctor, that's the doctor, who doctor, the doctor, doctor, the doctor, the way, the doctor, his doctor in doctors, or does the doctor, the doctor, the way, the doctor, who doctors, doctors? Amazing, that was good, <laughs> right? Sounds like a rap song, huh? All right, uh, yes. so, good, good, good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Who's next one? Next one, next one. Huh? Yeah, what happens there with um uh -huh. who's next one? Mm -hmm. Let me see who's next one. Ay, come on, people, don't be shy. Come on. Okay, I'm, I'm going to try it. All right, thank you, because then at 10 p.m. you are like, oh, teacher, it's 10 p.m. Yeah, but you don't actually <laughs> hurry to participate, all right? So go ahead, my friend. It goes, if one doctor doctors another doctor, that's the doctor who docs, doctors the doctor, doctor the doctor, the way the doctor is, he is doctor in doctors, or does he the doctor, no, he doctor the doctor the way the doctor who doctor doctors. Thank you very much, my friends. Really appreciate it. So thank you for trying, all right? Okay, so no more doctors. We finish. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We have a volunteer from yesterday's class that was working yesterday and is still working tonight. But she said that she was going to participate tonight, right? So, uh-huh. You know who you are, so please activate your microphone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it, all right? Go ahead. Um, if one doctor doctors another doctor, that's the doctor who doctors the doctor doctor, the doctor the way the doctor he is doctoring doctors, or or does he doctor the doctor the way the doctor who doctors doctors? <laughs> Excellent. You're able to finish the tongue twister, right? So super good. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. I have to say that this tongue twister is easier than yesterday's tongue twister, all right? But anyway, let's see here. Thank you everybody for participating. So now we can definitely move to the next activity right here. What is it going to be? Well, it's a review. A review about past perfect, all right? Past, past, past perfect. So we just have to fill the blank spaces right there. This is gonna be a piece of cake for you because you know, the verb is here in parentheses and if it is negative, it's going to tell you this. Or if it is a question, you're going to see it at the end. All right. So, well, now, uh, you, as you can see here on the first um, exercise, it says right here, the storm destroyed the sound castle. This is my action in simple past that we had built, right? Que nosotros habíamos construido. All right. So 
That's actually the answer for the first one, which is already there. Now, let's just go on the next one right here, my friends, and tell me what is going to be the correct answer right here. He is negative. So what will be this one? And the verb, it's be. Mm -hmm. Haven't been. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So haven't been. Very good. So he hadn't been to Cape Town before 1997, right? And no había estado in Cape Town before 1997. Very good, excellent, thank you. Let's just go with the next one right here, which is going to be uh, number three. Who's my volunteer for number three? Uh-huh. Yes, my friends, come on. Press is past perfect, the one we were studying last night. Oh, Lucia, hello, good evening. All right, so Mary, welcome to the class also. Monica, all right, so Patricia Garcia also, hello, all right. Okay, who can help me with the number three here? Okay, I got Roberto and also Rene. Rene, please help me with number four. Right now we'll go with Roberto, okay? okay. Roberto, go ahead. When she went out to play, she had already done the home, her homework. All right. Had already done. done. Very good. Had already done her homework. Very good. Excellent. Uh, thank you. Rene, go ahead, please. Uh, my brother ate all of the cake that our mom had made. Had made. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. And then we go with number five. Who's going to help me with number five now? Okay. Yes. Hello, hello, hello. My goodness, why are you so shy tonight? Uh, good on. Okay. Would, would you mind reading the whole sentence? I don't know. I don't know the pronunciation for last play. Week. Last. Last. Week. Okay. The doctor took off the plaster that he had put on six weeks before. Very good, had put on. Had put on. All right, six weeks before. All right, thank you, Millie, very good job. Excellent, so thank okay. you, thank you. Who's my next one, volunteer here? Oh, I can see Carolina has joined the class also. Hello, Carolina, maybe you can help me with number, what, six? Good evening, teacher. Oh. Good evening. You can help me, Carolina or Lucia? Okay, let me see. Okay. Please. Mm -hmm. Is using uh, past perfect or? Correct. Okay. The waiter brought a drink that I have not ordered. Mm -hmm. I have not ordered. The waiter brought a drink that I had not ordered. Very good. Excellent. That's exactly the correct answer. I had not ordered. Very good. <clears throat> Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Who can help me with the next one, my friends? Yes. Uh -huh. Me, Patricia. teacher. Who said me? Let me see. Who was it? Lucia. Ah, Lucia. Go ahead. I could not remember the poem we had learned the week before. We had learned. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you very much, Lucia. Lucia, I like it. You know, I like your name because that's my daughter's name too, Lucia. All right. So, good, good, good. So, let's see this one right here. Who is going to help me for number eight? Mm -hmm. Number eight. Oh my God, I can see that Mary and Daniela Carranza Valencia is in the class and not participating. What happens? Hi, teacher. Um, you can participate tonight. Can yeah. You? Okay. okay. Okay, go ahead. The children collect the cheat, cheat notes that, uh -huh. cheat notes uh -huh. that had fallen. 
had fallen. Very good, excellent. You see, it was easy for you. You didn't want to participate. Hmm. Yeah, I just, I just need to see some example because it, <laughs> it gives I, me perfected. I understand, understand. But thank you for helping me with that one, right? Let me see who else there. It's there. What about you, Patricia Garcia? Patricia Garcia. Hi, good evening. Uh huh. Good evening, <clears throat> in the dark. All right. So tell me, the, the number nine is a question. So you know what is first in a question, right? It has. Mm -hmm. Have. Have yes. fun. Have. <clears throat> had, had, uh, had, what is your head in this case? He. Very good. Had. He. Fun. Uh, fun. Uh -huh. Can you continue? Hard. No. No. Fun. Ah, uh, okay. Continue. Please read it. Had he found Angie before he went to see her in London? Thank you. That was awesome. All right. And the last one. Uh huh. Cesar, are you there? <laughs> yes, teacher. Can you help me with the last one, please? It's negative. Okay. Uh, she has not. Uh, she had not ride a horse before that day. All right. So you said this one. Had not ride. Is that correct, people? Ridden. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's just like this one? Is that how you spell it? Uh, I think. <laughs> All right. Who can confirm that, my friends? Add another D. Another D? Do this. All right, like this one, my friends. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good, very good, very good. All right, so there you go, excellent. So thank you, my friends here. Yes or no? Okay, very good. Somebody's asking a question here. I'm sorry, let me see. Uh, right. Yes, that's the correct one. Had not written. All right, very good. Do you have any questions so far regarding the vocabulary that we are um, studying here in this exercise? Anything that you maybe don't know? Try like to clarify before we move forward. Plaster means gesso. That is actually correct. Plaster. Plaster, yes. What else? What else? Uh-huh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. I have a question for you, everybody. In number eight, there's a word like chestnuts. What is it? This one. Like a nut, but um, the one that the squirrels eat? Mm. You mean almonds? No, it's it's like when you, like the ones that are in the pecan pie. I don't know. <laughs> I'm guessing. Yeah, that might be. Like the ones you see on like uh, the movie, the very famous movie in the cartoon, but little like animal is like chasing that, like Los Castaños. Yeah. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. Oh. All right, excellent. So if you don't have more questions, let me just continue with this one, my friends. So let's see what's the topic for tonight, all right? Okay, very good, excellent. So, well, we are going to see this one right here, which is like some um, vocabulary, all right? This one, to make sure that everybody participates here in this activity, we are going to go to the breakout rooms and you're going to read and try to analyze, all right? So uh, to match. The, the numbers that we have right here with the letters that we have here. Basically, you're going to move the letters here, all right, to see what is it. This is the definition. And pay attention, please, because after you match the letter A and the letter B, you are going to choose three of the words 
and you're going to write examples for those three words. Okay? Understand? So the activity is going to be this one. You're going to match these words with the definitions. And after you finish matching, you are going to choose three words and you're going to write examples when you are applying the words that you just studied. It's that clear? Yes? Yes, please. Awesome. All right. So now let me open the breakout rooms right now so we can go. Okay. So let's see here. There you go. Excellent. Breakout rooms are open. So now let's just try to join in. Remember, guys, that if you are going to be a listener, that's fine. I completely understand that. No worries. Mirna, Patricia Castellanos, Patty, Patty, join the room, please. Thank you, Mirna. Oh, Patricia is trying to log in again. Okay, Carolina Paz. Um, Hello, hello, everybody. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Did you get the information um, or you want me to send a screenshot? Uh, can you send a screenshot in the group, please? Yeah, absolutely, we didn't. absolutely. I'm sorry. That's, That's a very important part. <laughs> right, so <laughs> let's see. Okay, very good. Right. I'm doing that right now. No worries. Okay. Okay. We we we. Okay. Thank you. Okay. It's been sent. Let's see. Sending. 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 It's just still going around in circles. Right. There should be. Some time soon. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Awesome. You got it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Give me a second to share the screen. Thank you. Okay. Okay, Monica, do you understand what we're going to do? Yes, we want to match, right? Yeah. Awesome, girls. You're right. What if they here checking? Okay. Coincidence. Let's see. Let's start. Um, an expected event that seems to be connect. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's the letter F. Yeah. Let me. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I want to annotate, but where is this thing? Uh, <laughs> ah, there is. Disaster. Letter F. Maybe letter D. Letter D. An event that caused oh. a lot of suffering and destruction. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it sounds like a disaster. Yeah. <laughs> 
I guess you got the wrong letter there in number two. It's maybe, maybe. Ah, yeah, you're right. Maybe moment. Let her see. All right. Great, you're Emerge. doing good. I'm going to go to a different room. If you have questions, just call me, all right? Okay, teacher, thank you. Thank you. Maybe the third is letter G. Letter uh, I'm not given, yeah. Yes. Bye. Number, number C. C. That's Mister. letter C. You don't say number C, okay? You said letter C. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Letter C. <laughs> All right. Letter C yeah. is something puzzling or unexplained. Mystery. Letter B. Hmm? So, number seven, predicament. Predicament. Mm. I think it's letter B. B. A difficult situation with no obvious solution. Mm, yes. And number eight, okay. trial. It's letter E. E. Mm -hmm. Yes. A great success or achievement. Mm -hmm. So now we have to to choose three words for from part A to to write sentences. Bye. Mm -hmm. For me. Imagine. Imagine. I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Emergency. Which one? Uh, lead number three, emergency. Emergency. Yes. Um, okay, we, we have to to like uh, think on a situation that that will be an emergency, like the <coughs> that we have. Uh, down there. Mm. I think that uh, mm. it says while two people were traveling separately in China, they're met by chance at a restaurant in Shanghai. Even though mm. they had both lived in the same town their their whole lives, they have never <coughs> met before. So it's That's a coincidence. So we have to 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 make up uh, situations that. Uh, when I had to leave the emergency room to give birth. Ah, oh, okay. Maybe <laughs> we can say that you were at work, maybe, and your uh, water broke. So oh. we have to take you uh, suddenly to 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 the hospital, and that was oh, yeah. an emergency. For example, mm -hmm. it could be one. Mm -hmm. And maybe we can put uh, number two as disaster, disaster uh, for like the tsunami in I think. 2000 or something, something like that. 2014, I think. I guess it was 2004. 2004? Okay. I guess so. Yeah. Maybe that's a, a, a disaster, right? Yeah, or well, the earthquake we have here in El Salvador in 2001. In 2001. Exactly. The two earthquakes. Yeah, yeah, right? Two small difference. Okay, very good. So, guys, you're doing a good job. I'm going to visit a different room. If you have questions, let me know, all right? Okay, thank you. All right. Continue, no problem. Okay. okay. Uh, the third one, 
I don't know. Do, do you have any idea? In the thousand. On school. And the other one is a, is a chef. And he also teach cooking. Oh, teaches. All the family teach. teach. All of them. Yes. All teach. the family teachers. So mm -hmm. you have a family of teachers? Yes. <laughs> awesome, awesome. <laughs> Are you also a teacher? Yes. <laughs> oh, she's a teacher? Yes. What do you what do you teach? Uh forensic medicine. <gasps> oh, for forensic goodness. physician. And Josue Roberto has been my my your student. My pupil. A student. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Right. So <laughs> it's very interesting. You're the second student I have who works in the in that area. Oh really? Yes. I have a doctor actually who's working on on oh how do you call it? Medicina legal. All right. Yes. Um, yeah. Both 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 of us work there too. Oh really? Were you working yeah. there before or are you currently working there? Currently working. Yeah, so you might know this 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 also this girl too. To be honest with you, I have forgotten her name. Um but it's a uh, um a woman like in her 50s and uh, with a short hair now and i just forgot her name oh my gosh she was also learning english because her 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 children were in australia so, ah, yeah, roxana. Yeah. Roxana. Yeah, roxana that's 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 actually her name roxana i remember now yes yes so you, do you know roxana yes oh my yes. god right it's a small world right <laughs> If if you see, do you see her? Uh, sometimes. From time to time. All right. Awesome. So if you happen to see her once, please say hi from my part. Okay. Right. If I see her, I, I, I promise. She knows me as JJ. JJ? Yes. Oh. All right. So she where, knows me where, as JJ. Where were you teaching, JJ? Oh, well, I cannot tell you here, but it was in a different place. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Yes. No worries. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, yeah. I was teaching in a different Alicia place. Alicia also works in Medicina Legal. Who? Alicia. Alicia. Oh, really? Yeah. That's interesting. And, and Caesar. Oh, and awesome. Caesar. Yes. Oh my goodness. Now we're just gonna be like one, two, three, four, and five George, students. George too. George also. George is a dentist. Oh yeah, I have heard that. Yes. But right. he works that's, in, in Santa Tecla. That's very interesting. All right. So very, very interesting, right? Oh a my lot god. Of forensic. <laughs> yeah. So yes. you know, I re I remember something that uh Roxana told me once, and she was like uh, JJ, if you need my help, I, I I'm here to help you, but I hope you never need my help. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's what she said. And I was like, okay, I'll take it into consideration. Thank you. All right. So well. Well, everybody, we're going to stop right here so we can uh, return to the main session so we can discuss the exercise. Thank you. And it's been a okay. pleasure okay. talking okay. to okay. you. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. See. Hey everybody, welcome back. Oh, Patty, I you were the one reporting issues with the laptop, right? Yes, teacher, but okay. I'm here again. Thank okay. you. Oh, and thank you for joining the class again. Is everything okay now with the laptop? Yep, okay, cool. All right, very good, awesome. So let's see here. All right, everybody, thank you very much. I ha had the opportunity to it to visit some of the breakout rooms where you were working so you were doing an amazing job and i know i will have so many volunteers right now all right so that can actually help excuse me help me with this one all right everybody can you tell me what is a coincidence mm -hmm. hello 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 coincidence it's letter. hello 
Yes. Letter, letter F. F. Letter F. Letter F. Okay, I, I appreciate mm -hmm. that one. Can you please help me reading letter F? Unexpected events. Mm -hmm. uh, unexpected events then that seems to be connected. Connected. Very good. Excellent. So we have letter F. Great job. Disaster. What's a disaster? One volunteer. Rene, go ahead. A disaster is letter D, an event that causes a lot of suffering or destruction. Thank you. Yeah, that's actually right. All right. So letter D. Good job. Thank you. Uh, what is an emergency? Another volunteer? Cesar, okay, go ahead, Cesar. An emergency, uh, it's a sudden event uh, requiring quick action. Very good, thank you very much. All right, so it's later G. Thank you, uh, what about a uh, lucky break? Hmm? Do, do, do. No connection. <laughs> An unexpected event, an unexpected event that brings good fortune. All right. Yeah. So letter A, right? Yes. Would you agree with that one, people? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Awesome. Thank you very much. All right. So then you go with this one, number um five, Miss Fortune. What is it? Little H. H. An unlucky event. An unlucky event. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Six. So, yeah, thank you. What's the mystery? Mystery, mystery? Aha, Norma, go ahead, Norma. Tell me. Letter C. Uh, letter C, can you read it? Something puzzling or unexplained. Unexplained, thank you. Carolina, can you help me with number seven? Okay. Uh, I think it's uh, letter B, predicament. Okay, so what is it? Letter B, a difficult situation with no obvious solution. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so, and the last one, triumph. It's later. Letter E. Mm -hmm. Which is? A great success of achievement. Achievement. Repeat it. Achievement. Thank you very much. Now I need three volunteers. You guys need to give me one example using the word you prefer there. Who's going to be my first volunteer for that activity? Mm -hmm. Cesar. Okay, Cesar. Which is going to be the word? These are the microphone. It's going to be lucky break. Lucky break. All right. Go ahead and tell me what's lucky break. I mean, uh, example. It's more than a, a real story that happened to me when okay. I was uh, at the university. Okay, cool. Uh, one, one time we were uh, having uh, this uh, midterm mm -hmm. and bef like a week before uh, the test, I got sick. Uh, really sick. I got chick, uh, mm. chikungunya, mm -hmm. so I couldn't uh, study, and I present to the to the test. So mm. it was a, a multiple choice test, and in the moment I just think I don't know. I'm gonna uh, answer C in Ra every question randomly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I did it. Uh, I just did it. And when they uh, published the grades, mm -hmm. I had 8.2. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's definitely a lucky break. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> All right. So thank you. Thank you for sharing that story, right? So very good job using the, um, the vocabulary. Okay, very good. So let's continue with the next one. What is going to be, I mean, next volunteer for this one? Another example? Yes, 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 my friends. Ooh. Oh, come on, people. Hello, hello. 
Carolina. Thank you, Carolina. Uh, I choose uh, uh, number two, disaster. Okay, tell me. Um, in October 10th, uh, 1987, there was an earthquake in San Salvador. Uh, I don't remember how hard it, it was, but uh, many buildings in downtown bro uh, broke down. Uh, Fell down. A lot of people Fell were down. dead and many missing people. Uh, there was a lot of suffering and destruction in, in downtown. Yeah, wow. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's, that was a real disaster, right? I, I I wasn't born by that year yet, but I have watched the videos and it, it looked really, really bad, right? So just like what happens in 2001 with the two earthquakes, right? With a month of difference. All right, yes, thank you. Yes, 2001. Mm -hmm. Also. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you for that example, Carolina. All right, very good. And well, I just need one more. Who's going to be that one? Thank you, Renee. Go ahead. What's your word? Okay, I I choose uh, the easy words coincidence. Coincidence. All right. Okay. Coincidence is, is when you associate a belief with a with an event. Uh -huh. For example, for example, if you pass under a letter. And this day you had a bad days, or the pains fall on your head. Another situation could be when when you drink with the snakes, and you, and you were people had a bad manners with you. Mm -hmm. yes. Right, right, right. Yes. That's true. That's true. It's a coincidence. No, it's a. It no is a, a reality, no is a true, it's a, a belief, a dream or a situation and that associates with a, with a event that pass you know, after it, that. That's actually true, right? People associate the things and they believe it's actually a fact when it might be a coincidence. I agree with you. Remember, Rene, when you say like no es in English, you're saying it's not. It's not. Exactly. It's not. Exactly. So it's not a coincidence, for example, right? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, people believe many things, especially in our country. People have a lot of um, superstitions, of course, right? Like, you know, sometimes people see a black butterfly and they imagine like the worst disaster in a family, for example, right? That's an example here. All right, everybody, second activity, we are going to go back to the breakout rooms, but this time to have a conversation. All right, so we have 10 questions and we're going to be asking the question to each other and you guys are going to be um you know basically saying yes i had no i hadn't and tell a little bit more about that one all right so like for example let me see i'm just gonna select somebody here randomly okay let me see okay patty i'm just gonna ask you a couple of questions so they can see how is it going to be and then i will send you to the breakout rooms can you help me patty no i had all right, <laughs> that's not the answer. All right, so, go ahead, Patty. Right. <laughs> go ahead. You're Patty, and then I have Patricia. All right, so you told me that last time. All right, so let's see. Um, let's just this one. Have you used the internet before you started high school? No. <laughs> no, I hadn't. All right, very good. So, have you traveled to another country before you turned eighteen? No, I haven't. All right, there you go. Awesome. So, uh, have you met anyone from this class before you joined it? Mm. Do you understand that question? Like number nine? Like, has conocido a alguien de esta clase antes de meterte a esta clase? Of course. Right, you can say, for example, oh, yes, I, I met uh, Juan or I met Ingrid or Ingrid is my co-worker or Irma is my co-worker 
or Lucia is my friend, for example. All right, so things like that. Understand what you guys are going to do? It's a conversation activity, okay? So I'm going to send you again to the breakout rooms, my friends, and then you are going to, do you have questions? No questions? Okay, fine, no questions. Let's just go back to the rooms. Oh, Mary, hello, welcome back to the class, Mary. Yes, teacher. Uh, but the the meeting is a uh, mishaka. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happens. Mm -hmm. All right. For two. No worries, two sister. Times. No worries. Uh huh. Yeah, two twice. Really? Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm going to assign you to a different group right now. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh who were you working with? I don't remember. It was Monica. Monica, Monica. Oh, I just moved Monica because I thought she was going to be alone. <laughs> anyway, so let's see. Um, he... All right, Monica, please join your 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 uh, room. I guess it's number five now. Okay. All right. So good. There you go, Mr. Jose. Um, are you active right now? So I just. Okay. Oh, okay. Very good. Thank you. Patricia, I'm going to assign Patricia to the number one with Norma. Okay, thank you. Oh my God, somebody's asleep behind volunteer. Go. Okay, cool, excellent. Everybody has been assigned. Phone number two. You didn't ask questions. You ask questions were no sense. Uh, there is no question, teacher, because uh, Irma is, 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 is in working now. Ah, um, okay. No worries. No worries. So, Rene and Irma, I am going to move you to a different uh, room so you have the opportunity to practice with somebody else, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, cool. So, let me see. One and room number one. All right. Yeah. Yes, I have. And number five. Had you heard about the past perfect tense before today? Yes, I have. Oh my tell me God. when, tell me when. Give a longer answer. Tell me more details. Okay. Um, uh, it was on my English class at school, but it wasn't, uh, the teacher didn't empath, emph, emphasize, didn't emphasize, focus, emphasize. emphasize so much. Okay. You know, sometimes that happens, right? So I remember my teacher at the school told me that I was never going to use past perfect. I was like, well. For me, it's kind of, uh, I know that I use it when I talk, but it's for the grammar part that it's difficult for me to. To know, to know what, to know the name of the grammar topic, you mean? yeah that that happens a lot of course right so but i mean i cannot tell my students you will never use past perfect right 
Yeah. <laughs> because we use it like very often. <laughs> right. Okay. So, please continue. Sorry for the interruption. Uh -huh. Don't worry. Oops. Uh, this is. Uh, yeah, number six. It's my turn or yours, Margarita? Your turn. Okay. <laughs> How do you meet a good looking person before you meet me? <laughs> uh, this, <laughs> this one is very subjective. <laughs> um, yes, I have. Yes, I have. Um, but my sister, my sister, because my sister is a nice person and she is beautiful too. I don't know. If we if we go in on that direction, yeah, I have to. My sister too is very good looking, actually. <laughs> okay. Okay. Seven. What do you wish you had done more done more of when you were young? Mm, probably talk more. And don't be afraid to be myself more. And all of this. This is our, these are our open question, right? Correct. Okay. And you, Margarita? And my wish is, is, was uh, be a, a doctor. Uh, what you wish you had done? You you wish mm -hmm. you study medicine? Uh no. Uh, or how do you say medical forensic? Oh, you got me on that one. I just want the answer, but one second, I'll tell you right now. It is actually medical examiner. I'm a medical examiner. You are because... also a medical examiner? Or are you standing? No. Hello? Hello? Are, are you a medical examiner or are you only studying? Uh, only studying. Ah, okay. Because in this class, we have some medical examiners. Do you know that? Mm, no, I don't, I don't know. But it's incredible because it's an amazing job. Yeah, that's this one. So we have some people working here. I guess if I'm not wrong, um, Roberto is one of them. Oh my God. Wow. Yeah, oh. oh, Monica is here. Yeah, but she's very shy. Hello, Monica. I was lost. <laughs> She yeah. was like, she was just like marrying at the beginning where she said like I'm just getting the idea to what about what happens let me understand yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay well I now find, I don't find my room <laughs> right so well you can actually involve her in the conversation so guys I'm gonna uh, go to a different room good job by the way all right thank you teacher all right okay. And I am lost. I don't know what are you doing. Um, we are going to make these questions to each other. Okay. And we are lot English. Study a lot English. Yeah. I study English a lot. I study English a lot. Yay. Um. <laughs> I think for me I think less about the situation and pride less maybe get a little bit more fun 
Can you say that again? Oh my goodness. No, of course not. <laughs> It's not so difficult to me to say that. <laughs> I guess everybody in the room was like, uh, what? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm, I'm pretty sentimental. And when I was a child, I used to cry for everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you still like that? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. But now I cry by myself oh. instead of my room. And when I was a girl, a little girl, no, I used to do it in public <laughs> <laughs> in front of another person. Oh my <laughs> yeah. I understand. Very good. Excellent. So, are you done with the questions? No. How many are you missing? Mm. Well, no worries, no worries. We are going to like ask those questions in the main session right now because it's time to return, all right? Okay. Welcome back to the main session, everybody. So I congratulate you because you were doing a very good job in the rooms having conversations, very interesting conversations, by the way, all right? So, um, you know, I just discovered that we have friends in common with some people that I didn't know you before. So that was a surprise to me, all right? So um, also I heard like, you know, some really funny stories with question number four, all right? So in, et cetera, right? So, well, let's see, uh, okay. I need a volunteer right here who can help me, right? So to answer any question, any question, any question, all right? Who's my volunteer? Let's see, volunteer, volunteer. No volunteers. I can be your volunteer. Thank you very much, all right? So, <laughs> I would like to be. Okay, very good, awesome. So then, well, listen, I am not going to ask you a question. You, Patty, Choose someone, and that person is going to ask the question he or she prefers. Okay. I'm going to, to pick Juan David Madrid. <laughs> I guess he's working. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. okay. Uh, let me see. Oh, Mary, Mary Daniela. Hi, Patty. Hi, Mary. Oh, hi, hi Danny. Hi, Danny. I know you prefer to. <laughs> okay. Hi, Danny. Oh, yeah. I okay. forgot that too. <laughs> right. You're not. You're my person, Danny. <laughs> um, what are we going to do? Sorry. You're gonna, you choose one of the 10 questions and ask the question to Patty so she can give us the answer. Okay. Um, have you heard about the past perfect tense before today? That was an easy one. Huh? <laughs> oh. oh, come on. That's too easy. You see, people want you oh. to ask another question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> number four. Number four. I wanna I wanna know number four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, she voluntarily okay. uh you know decided to answer question number voluntarily. We didn't ask the question. All right. So okay. Danny, go for it. Question number four. Okay. Have you tasted alcohol before you turn 18? Taste it. Please. Please. All right, go ahead, Patty. Me? Okay, okay, teacher. <laughs> I, 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 am, I am here. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, welcome to the class, David. Right now, we're going to thanks, listen to. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, 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 thanks. We are going to just, listen to. He's a, just yes. in time to, to answer. Okay, the number, the number four. Yeah, okay. I I answer the, 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 the question. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. In, in my case, in my case, I I, I don't drive. I excuse me, I don't read, I don't smoke. I what is I uh, abstemio in English, please, teacher? I don't even know what is that in Spanish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so you know I I I, 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 I have a person abstemio. O sea, nunca he probado la cuestión del alcohol ni el cigarro. Lo siento. Abstemio, oh. like like yeah. Abstinencia. 
Ya, no, abstemio es la persona que no lo ha Never hecho, o sea, que nunca, nunca ha tomado, nunca lo ha hecho, ni por curiosidad. Uh, that like y, that... y, pareciera, y pareciera lo contrario, ¿no? Pero como dice, dice ahí la canción, ¿no? Es como... Calle pero elegante. Oh, ok, fine. That sounds to me like a teetotaler, right? So, like a big lie. Okay, Patty. Yeah. Oh. What about you, Rachel? <laughs> oh yes, I have. I had tried alcohol before I turned eighteen. Mm. I think in um when I when I was like maybe seventeen and I was in the, in the high school. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> but do you just you just try it or you got wasted? I tried. You know what is waste get wasted? No. You know what is get no, wasted? No, in this get wasted? No, no, no. Okay. What is it? Get wasted is when you are extremely drunk. Drunk. At the point that you fail. Well, Right. Well, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> well that no says yes, actually. <laughs> right. So all right, awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. So well, you see everybody. So I really like tonight's class because you had the opportunity to talk more than me. All right. So and you were sharing those interesting stories, right? So uh -huh. you were with your classmates, of course, right? So well. We are going to stop right here because it's time for you to go to rest. All right. So thank you very much for participating in all the activities. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much for joining the class. And I will see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, good night. Good night, Bye. Bye. Good night, night everybody. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. 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 Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.